welcome back to Peach and Talks, and today this is a follow-up video to the Apple Watch video, which got the most views out of all of our videos, which I thank you all for those views. And this is a follow-up to my um, 2020 Apple Watch accessories, my first year owning an Apple Watch. What accessories did I get for it? What bands do I have? All sorts. So let's get started. Okay. So first, let's go over the actual watch, the one I have on it right now. So currently, my recent, my most recent purchase for my Apple Watch is the OtterBox Edge case or something. That's for the Apple Watch right there. You can see OtterBox. So here we go. It goes up and has a lip around the Apple Watch. I raise the lip and in the back, it doesn't interfere with the heart rate sensor. So it's still open. And then one thing that I don't like is that it kind of makes it a little harder to use the digital crown, but you can still use it. And the, I do like because the button's covered. So the button's covered and you can use it like that. The speaker's here. I'm on this side is cut out for the speakers. But covers up one of the speakers. But I think that's okay. It doesn't really affect the sound. And the bands. The bands still come off with the buttons there. And there. And they still slide out through the case like that. And it comes out nicely. And then you can just slip the case off. The digital crown goes in first. I won't do it now. Because of the next thing, what I'll explain. Next accessory I have on my Apple Watch is a screen protector, which I got custom put on at Best Buy. And I like, needed a screen protector because I do a lot of outdoor stuff, moving stuff around. So the screen protector is nice. The thing is, when I put on this case, it almost li lifted up part of the edge on the screen protector over there. Sorry, down here. So I, but luckily I was able to push it back down and the edge of the screen protector is holding it down. But be careful, or the edge of the case. So be careful with that when you put a case on if you have a screen protector on. Uh, next, we'll explain what, show what band I'm wearing. This is the stock band that comes with it right now. I do like the Apple Watch, the Apple Sport Bands. They're comfy because I like to do a lot of exercise and outdoor work and stuff. So it works as the Apple Watch Sport, Nike Sport Band. It's black. Not much to it. That's what's on it. Let's go over some of the other accessories I have. So here we have is, um, pull this out. Desar this is a Dasari leather band. I got this for about 40 bucks, I think, or something. Anyway, this is an actual leather band here. And I've had this for like three months or so, and it's I don't wear it a lot, but I do wear it. And it seems to be holding up quite well. Holding up quite well. It's a little bent there, but it's holding up pretty well. I like the buckle, and I like that. I got it picked out so the hardware here actually matches the watch. The space gray. So I like this one. This is my, say my second favorite band, and I wear this one about the second amount, the second most. And yeah, this is my genuine leather band. I like it better than the fake leather. It smells, smell on it. it, smells like actual leather, which is nice. So I'll put this down. I'll go to my next band, which is the Melanese Loop, which I like for sport, which I like for a more fancier events or a more durable band. And it's breathable, as you can see. Because it's got the, cause it's a metal mesh. What I like about this one is because it's a melanese, when it comes out, I won't do that now because I'll probably lose the piece. But it's adjustable, so you can adjust it. Because I have a very small wrist, so it's really nice to be able to adjust it to fit my wrist perfectly. That's why I like these adjustable bands. But the melanese loop, space gray, I like it. It works well. Put that off to the side. Next band I have is a Nike Sport Loop. Sorry, not the next Sport Loop, just a Sport Loop band. And this one's nice as well because it's adjustable and it's soft. And I use the Apple Watch for sleep tracking, which I'll be doing a video on that. And this is a nice band to wear to sleep because it's soft and it doesn't bug your wrist as much. It's a very soft, comfortable band to wear to sleep. Yeah, so this is the Nike Sport Loop Apple Watch band. Or the Sport Loop, sorry, mix them up. This one's very comfortable and I like it. Now next we'll move on to... Um, and I'll be going a little bit more in depth on kind of each a few of these accessories in a later video. This is the um, this is an Apple Watch charger. Now I actually three D printed this. I didn't buy it, but you can buy chargers that are pretty similar to this. But I three D printed this one, and the cable goes inside of it. If you look at the bottom there, there's a spot. So you slide the USB USB in through there, comes out this side, and then the puck charging puck sits in there. And then this works as a nightstand. The Apple Watch will sit in there. Now just to use error for getting some of these stands, ones that are like this at least, your Apple Watch with the case on it is too thick, so it doesn't fit properly and you can't use it. That's fine. There's other ones that you have. 
So it doesn't fit in very well on that one. So just a heads up when you get a stand like this. If you get one of the ones that's open, it can go on. So next I'll maybe explain a bit more about this. I got this, picked this case up for about 25 bucks at Best Buy. It was nice and it's got, got the, what I like about it, it's got the raised lip, lips and edge, lip and edges on it. So it actually protects it when I'm bang, doing stuff outside, I can bang it around. It won't actually hurt the Apple Watch, it's all protected. Then the screen is an anti scratch because I put a screen protector on, as I said. So I can go over it and it won't scratch the Apple Watch. The Apple Watch is actually, the first, this is my first day with the screen protector, at least when I'm, when I'm filming this video. First day with this, sorry, I've had the screen protector on it since the second day I owned the watch. But yeah, the screen's in pristine condition underneath there because of the screen protector, and this should keep the body in pretty pristine condition. There's only one little, almost scuff, but not really on, on the side by the bands, but this will keep it in really good condition. I don't predict it coming off or anything. Um, that's pretty much it for, for that. What else do I have to say? Oh yes, this band. It works well. I haven't had, haven't had any of the paint or anything come off. With the magnet and stuff, I can bunch it up. And yeah, this one works nice because it's adjustable. Because it doesn't fit my wrist very well. Bands don't fit my wrist because I have a small wrist. This one fits me nicely. Because it's adjustable. So I enjoy that. Now, I do have another one of these docks. Before I had wireless charging on my phone, if you haven't seen that video. Um, actually, probably I haven't posted that video yet, but once you see that video, I'll explain how I got wireless charging. And you can see the case video, sorry, that explains it as well. Basically, before I had wireless charging, I got a, I 3D printed a dual dock. So one that I can put the lightning cable through and stick the lightning dock, put the phone on, and then one with the Apple Watch stand. So maybe I'll show that in a different accessory video, but I don't really use that one very much. This is my main one, so I use a wireless charger now. That's pretty much it for the accessories. This isn't a very long video by any means, but it's gone off. So my favorite accessories. One of the newest accessories I've just seen is a carbon fiber case that just slips over the Apple Watch, which looks awesome. Let me ask maybe one day if Apple made a carbon fiber Apple Watch. That's not happening yet. But no, that's really cool. So that's why I like these. One more thing which I'll explain, which I saw on the internet, I haven't gotten it because I don't need it. But if you have like really nice watches that just have regular pins to connect in, you can get an adapter that'll go into your Apple Watch slots so you can use those regular bands with your Apple Watch. So I thought that was pretty exciting. Maybe I'll get I don't have any of those bands right now for those watches that I want to take off. But that's nice so you can use bands like that on your Apple Watch. So I like that people are making adapters so you can still use your old school bands and other stuff like that with your Apple Watch. That's pretty much all for this video. I'm sorry it's been a while for me posting. I had trouble with the, with the last video, editing and posting it, so I'm probably going to be redoing that video, or just not posting it. So I will see you next time. Bye.